Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training and in this video we're going to look at how to format large numbers into something a lot more readable, specifically looking how to format numbers in the scale of thousands and millions. So what I'll do is I'll just get rid of the format on this column and show you how I achieve this. So we'll start with this number here. We want to format it as thousands. So what I'll do is select the cell and control one to bring up format cells and I go down to custom. And then in this type box, I'm going to type the syntax for my format. So I'm going to include a currency symbol and then I'm going to say hash 0 0.00 on two decimal places. And then I'm going to put a comma in. Now, if you watch the sample box at the moment, we've got the full figure as it appears pretty much in column B. But if I type a comma in, it reduces it to thousands, 937.77 thousand. So that's what that comma does. Space, and then I just put a K in quotation marks. Click on OK. So that's done. What about the millions? So again, Control-1, Custom, type into the type box. So we're going to say hash, 0 0.00 and then we're going to put one two commas so that reduces it to millions 135.40 million and in quotation marks m obviously you could type millions in there if you didn't just want an m but that'll suffice for what we're doing here now i'm going to change this number to 900,000. And we get this, so 0 0.90 million. So if I was looking at this, I might want a zero before the decimal place. So control one. Now, if I want to force a zero, I've got to change this hash symbol to a zero to the left of the decimal place. Click on OK, and I get a zero there. But say I didn't want to show that zero, just 0 0.9. Okay, so control one. And what I would do is that second zero, I would change to a hash. Click on okay, 0.9. But if this was 950,000, it would show 0.95, two decimal places. So the rule is, if you use zeros after the decimal place, it will always show that number of decimal places, whether or not there's a significant number. But hashes don't work in the same way. It'll only show the figure if there's a significant number in the value that you're formatting. And that's probably what we want in this scenario. Okay, that's all there is to this video. Hopefully you found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to hear more about Excel tips and tricks from Blue Pecan Computer Training.